Fielding saves his run. Must have been important. Yeah, if I was to take an allocation of how much for it, I guarantee you need to loosen their bodies. Okay? Part of the loosening process is your warm-up, so getting them their agility, making sure that they can do stretching fast Massively important. Okay? One huge point. How good you are as a fielder is dictated by your hips and your shoulders and the before you do any kind of fielding session, they really need to throw. Okay, to give you an example of how important this is, even now after 14 years of coaching professional cricket, I still cannot get cricketers to throw for as long as they should before we start a game. <clears throat> because there's time constraints. And you've got a one day international starting at 9.30 in the morning, Time is really precious. Okay? In professional baseball, in any standard of baseball, this throwing takes about 15, 18 minutes. Because it starts really slowly. It's a social chit chat. You're talking with your buddy and you're throwing. But it, what it's doing is it's reinforcing your mechanics and its and mechanics. When you're playing. Now I know that equipment is scarce over here, but ideally you need them working in pairs. There's no point working with a whole team or a whole squad with one wicket keeper. Okay, please, please do not do that. Do not have one keeper and you hitting and 15 players all throwing the ball. Because your keeper, he won't tell you, but he'll be going. Oh, catch, catch, catch. You need to look after your wicket. I also do wicket people as well. Okay? You need to protect the keeper. He needs to be treated with kid gloves. He is a special. He is the centre piece for your jigsaw. If you break him, you are shed. Okay? So, when they're doing this warm up, too much chip chat, not enough work. What you're looking for, looking for with the throwing mechanics, you're looking for similar mechanics to the bowler to a certain extent. You're trying to generate the power. Okay? So let's start with the feet. Okay. So, think about what you just learned with Ian. Yeah. Alright? <laughs> you just you have to stop. You have to decelerate to accelerate. You cannot accelerate. You want this. Coming fast. This has to stop. Okay. okay. They will be weak of the legs, so they will try and compensate by being strong there. You don't want to be strong here, you want to be strong here. Strong here is no good. It's good if you're strong there, but not if you're weak on a boat. Okay, so when you look there, what they'll do is they'll step through. They're now at this, okay. What I would like is they're back up in the air like this. Okay. It's not about being up in the air, it's where their hip is and where their knee is. Okay. okay, what I want you to do is do that. Put your hand up. Good. Okay. okay, right. Don't let me push you over. Go. Okay. Don't me up. Don't let me push you over. Okay. Front foot. Back foot. You can go up on your toes, and you go there, yes, like that, put your hand down. Now don't let me push you over. Right, you see the difference? Now suddenly, now his throw, believe it or not, is coming here. Not stuck. As soon as he goes, go back up on that one foot. Push, push, 
All of your power can have something to do. This is a small book of this. It's really easy. Backside, stomach, chest, shoulder, quads, hamstrings, calves, everything. It is everything. You use everything. Every building skills you do, you use everything. Okay? So, what we'll do. Okay, fellas, thank you. Accuracy, right? I wasn't sitting down because I was tired. All right. There's everybody else in the world. The guy will come in, he'll pick it up fast and throw it, and you go, "Wow, catch it! Yes, well done." No, not well done. Speed. You need to see beyond the fact that it came out nice and quickly to the fact. The fact of the matter is that if you hit a wicketkeeper or a fielder here, it takes him a quarter of a second to take the ball from there to there. In a quarter of a second, that batter is stood there, sprinting. In the quarter of a second, he is now here. A world of video replays. That to there. Not good enough. All has to be perfect. We have to hit the woodwork. We have to hit the stumps. Because as soon as we go away from the stumps, it takes too long. Alright? So where you've got to where you've got to realize is that if a, if a guy's got a, an action that's slingy, okay, he's maybe down low, but it comes out quick. It's going to take him less time to change from this to this, which is what you want, from there to there. It's going to take him a lot less time than it is for your keeper to catch it here. Two of them got a bit of deceleration. Okay, who who can? Who's good with a glove? Well, this one. Who's good with you? Now really hard. I can do it. I can do it. 
Well, that's because I've been doing it for years and I'm pretty good. Yeah, I can do that because I know what I'm doing. But even there, look, I'm not looking at my target and you have to go left. You have to, even if, so even if you pick the ball up at an angle, you've got to try we start? We're, if you're analysing, you're analysing these kids on their, this is a two-handed pick up and throw, bog standard, this is about 87% of your fielding game, this is a huge skill, this one skill we've just done, that there will make up the majority of your athletes fielding, so if they can't do this right, you're struggling. This is the ba this is the basis. This is your foundation. From this skill, you can then build John T. Rhodes, Herschel Gibbs. Can't do this right. You're not building anything. You're building a house on sand. This is the skill. Okay. So, if we are analysing these guys, if you were going to talk to them about the pick up and throw, where would you start? What would be your starting point? We haven't even got into the technicality. I mean, that this is a, this is before we've even talked about the pickup. Technical, ready position. What is a ready position? What is a ready position? Balance body weight. Balance body weight. Okay. Due to move up, down, left, right, forward, back. That's important. You are creating the ultimate position. When do you create that position? When is the pinnacle? Impact. Would you all agree that your ready position, you need your infielders, in, only infielders, we'll talk about outfield another time. Infielders, your infielders need to get into a ready position. A some people call it a split step, a ready stance, but we'll call it the ultimate position. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In position yeah. ultimate. Before, before the ball hits the bat, as the ball hits the bat, after the ball hits the bat. Okay, can I have a show of hands and I'm going to pick on all of you. No hiding. If you think you get into that stance before the ball gets to the bat, put your hand up. Before. Before this. Okay, okay. Right, let's do it again. If you think it's before, before the ball hand, put your hand up. One, two. Anybody else? Any wavering? One, two, three. Anybody else wavering? Just. No, no, no. Okay, kids. <laughs> At impact. Just impact. At impact. You've only got three choices before, at, after. So. Didn't you just put your hand up for the. For... Okay, yeah. <laughs> you, you had your hand up for this. Now you're, are you putting your hand up for after? After impact. This is for after impact. Anybody? Anybody voting for after impact? After impact. You move into the stance and your feet touch the ground. Now, after impact. Let me, tell, let me show you why. It's very simple. I just hold the ball out. All right, you hold. Hold the ball. Okay. What I want you to do 
We're going to cut. If you, I want you to toss the ball in the air, just lob it up, and hit it with your hand. More far than that. Okay, what I want you to do is, I want you to just do in that, just widen up a little, to my left or to my right. Don't do it at me. To my left or to my right. Just when I say... No, 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 no. When I shout now, yes. that's yes. when you hit it. Okay? Now! Ready position. Feet touching before impact. Before. Option one. Now! Now! At impact. Now! Option three, after impact. Now! Option three, look at my feet. Now! Now! Anywhere, until you know where the ball is going. Yeah? If you land in an ultimate position before he's hit it, <laughs> now what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? You can't, you don't, the whole point of this ultimate position is you don't stay in it, you go somewhere. You... <laughs> Whilst it looks great, this, here, there, that is your dynamic position there, alright, just watch, I just want you to, to play catch, take your glove off, just play catch with me, watch my feet, Where you're going until the ball's on the way. Does that make sense? That's really important. They're only in this position for a fraction of a second. Just watch. Put your glove back on. Go, just move out of the way. That's why we don't like outfielders walking in. Hands up. Who asks their outfielders to walk in? How do you know where to go? Where to run to? What? Let me be clearer. You're playing, let's say, third man. Third man. So you're getting edge balls or blade balls there. Difficult position. Third man is a difficult position. Fine leg is actually a difficult position. Believe it or not, it's not an easy position. And it's, they're not easy positions for the reason I'm about to explain to you. What part of your body, what part of your body do you use to determine whether the ball's coming to you, how fast it's coming to you, what angle it's coming to you, whether it's bouncing or weaving? What parts of your anatomy do you use? Oh, yeah, maybe some of you are happy with a handgun. Where would you be if you took your handgun and we're doing this? Would you be able, would you be confident of hitting your target like this? Or would you prefer to be a little bit more balanced, stable, set, fire? Stable position. Okay, you have to get your players to take that fraction of a second so, they're relaxed, they step in, they're strong, ball's bold, it's played, go! I'm not asking them to stay there. Now, more, 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 now go. I'm asking them to swing to back, now we go. It's an outfield ready position. What you said about 
your players not saving a single, is that a physical thing or a mental thing? Playing outfield, I would expect him to be as okay. eyes wide as playing infield. I wouldn't expect him to be like this. So what we've got to do is, as coaches, we've got to make sure that when he's in the outfield, eyes wide, fighting all the time. God. Fighter. Never stop. Fighter. So it's not about it's not about the, the actual skill or what you talked about there. It's the lack of concentration. That's not my fault as a builder, or that's not our fault, it's the psychology. So deal with it from a psycho don't. It's like asking me to teach you to drive a car and say, well, you know, in, in first gear I'm okay, but in second gear and then third gear and then fifth gear, I don't even pay attention. <laughs> right? No, 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 no. Pay attention when you are driving a car. Yeah? It's that important. Sorry. See, see that? Okay. I would. Okay. I would disagree. Say so they don't want to be walking because different focus points. Your focus point is smaller. Okay. The reason as an infielder we can do this. The reason an infielder walks in like this is because he's closer. And he doesn't have the time, that ball will come to him like that. Which means he's got to be able to cover as big an area as possible, right? And where the ball is. You've got to, identify, you can't do anything unless you know where the ball is. And I would challenge any of you to be able to do a visual skill a visual checklist, and I've, I've, I've done this with players, where I've got outfielders to walk in and then tell me how many fingers. How many fingers? Like that. Three, two, next, two, one. The ones that I stood still, tell me straight away. What that means, that means that they visually will see the target. They'll see the ball quicker, then they move. What wants to quicker? Well, they'll move, they'll move. If you get them into a good position, then they move like a sprinter. All I'm saying is that, well, I mean, you can try this. I guarantee you can try this with your players. You watch, watch, watch my eyes. Watch my head. If I'm like this. No. Vision. Vision, 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 vision again, more vision, and explosion. Alright, I go a long way. Johnson goes a long way. Some people don't. Low, 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 down. From that last step, that last position, that's where I then go somewhere. Or, block a ball, or go up in the air. The ability to go north, south, east, west as quick as possible. Ready? Go! Towards the ball, which is quicker. So if you stop, see it, and go straight, you will go faster. You will be faster going that way. You will if you've walked in. You are quicker. Drop that. You are quicker. Chest on. You do not want people doing this. Alright? If you have, I bet you you have a dozen or so players who do this. What you need them to do is go. In, up, drop. There, big knee. Step back and take it. Okay. First of all, we have 
the pictures. The pictures. Pictures are the most powerful, the most accurate throwers on the planet. What part of the throwing action, what part of that pitching action will differ? As, okay, watch, just go back, I'm, I'm going to throw it slowly. When you actually stand and do stuff, subconsciously you show what you do. What did he do the first time? Do what you did the first time. Right. What he did was, and he did this subconsciously, he went down and forward. No, no, when just to the level. That was what they would say a pitching action is as near as perfect as possible. Because remember, they're generating 100 miles an hour from nothing. At least as fielders we've got a little bit of a, a run-in to generate a little bit of power. They generate 100 miles an hour from station. So it must be good. If we can get a cricketer to get to this position, this position here is very simple. Do you see the, do you see the similarities? So if you can get a fielder to run in and as he picks up the ball, he's now like a pitcher. Keeper, bowler. 
Thank <laughs> you. 